So let's talk about big data. Name already suggests what big data is. Data which is big but is fast and complex. In today's world, billions of people access videos, images, text, audios and even shopping online. We all know data goes to its respective servers but that's not the end. Analysis and process are done on so-called big data to keep your data safe, secure and in perfect order. History of your browsing Google, watching videos on YouTube and many other things are kept safely on the servers because when you need it, it's available all the time. A single jet engine can generate 10 plus terabytes of data in 30 minutes of flight time. With 1000 flights more, data generation reaches up to many petabytes. 4.4 billion plus people accessed the internet in 2019 and zettabytes of data were transferred across the internet. Zettabytes are huge numbers which is equals to 1000 raised to 7 bytes or 10 raised to 12 gigabytes. These are some 2019 key statistics of popular social media sites. 500 million tweets were sent, 4 petabytes of data were created on Facebook, 294 billion emails were sent, 4 terabytes of data were created from each connected car, 65 billion messages were sent on WhatsApp, and 5 billion searches were made on Google. And this is just data of sent and received but not really a big data. Then how big data is stored, how it is managed, how much of big data is produced every year and will produce in future, how it is analyzed and processed for storing. But first, let's understand big data. Big data is related with 5 key concepts. First is volume. It means large amount of data is collected from many environments. These data are of unknown values like Twitter data feeds, smart devices, industrial equipments, videos, social media and much more. Second is variety. Data can be of many types. Structured data types such as numeric information in traditional database system, modern world's unstructured and semi-structured data types such as text, audio, video, emails and financial transactions. Third is velocity, the speed at which data is generated and then operated. Applications used for real-time or near-real-time operations are used in this like RFID tags, sensors or any Internet of Things which require real-time evaluation and action. Fourth is veracity, it refers to quality of data, means the degree to which big data can be trusted, if it's not legit, it may spiral out of control. Fifth is value. It represents the value of data collected. Now there is new V emerged in recent years called variability. It means how data can be used for required purpose and format it to new form if something new is trending. That makes important 6 V for how big data is managed, stored and reused. But why big data is important? and how it will improve various industries. Big data is not only what data of yours is stored on the servers, but it's also used to take data from any source and analyze it to find answers that reduces cost and time. Big data works on three key points. First, it is integrated together from many applications and resources. But it is make sure that first it is processed and then it is formatted correctly. Second, it can be stored correctly after processing. Stored data can be in any form and desired computing requirements are supported so that data can be managed on the servers. Third is to make sure that data is analyzed and can be used for further operations or simply updating it if required. The development of open source frameworks such as Hadoop and recently introduced Spark is essential for the growth of big data because they make big data easier to work with and cheaper to store. The three major programming languages namely Python, R and Scala are used for managing, analyzing and storing of big data. 
Machine learning and artificial intelligence also produce some big amounts of data to store and used for operations. That's where cloud computing came in. Cloud provides flexibility to developers because they can store the clusters of data sets and can perform operations directly on it. According to statistics, data will cross beyond 78 yotabyte by 2030. There are billions and billions of devices operating and generating data and this data which is big, fast and complex is called big data. That's all guys, thanks for watching, if you like our video give the thumbs up, consider subscribing and see you next time.